Now let's take a look at how to set up Calendly or any calendar tool that you have. So a good calendar page should have a picture of your face, smiling. You want to have actually your picture. People love people. They don't want to talk with companies. Just show yourself however you are. Your logo, small intro, multiple days times to select from. Don't be, uh, don't have too little days or hours in the day available. You want to give them a bunch of options and a short period of time as applicable. Don't send 60 minute links if you just do a 50 minute discovery or qualification call first. The first call should be simple and easy as possible for a prospect. You don't want to scare them away with an official super uh, like long call. This is just to see if this actually fit, if you can actually help them, if you like working together. So just 15, 30 minutes max for the first one. Usually you can do it even even shorter. Then have qualification questions. So honest last questions you need to know before you can prescribe them a solution. You need to be 100% that you can help them, 100% that they have the budget to work with you, and 100% that they want to start right now, not in six months. And 100% that all the decision makers are on the call if you're doing a demo. But keep the questions to a minimum and only ask the most important questions that will help you prepare for the call. So for example, for our leaching agency, here are the questions we had. Is your business focused on B2B sales? Because we only help B2B. If it's B2C, we can't really help them. How ready are you to scale your company if you had as much demand as possible? So you want to see if they're ready to scale right now. If they are, good, perfect fit. If they want to do it later, it makes sense not to do, do the call right now. And assuming we can help you, in terms of budget, are you able to invest around 5K to get started? So this was around the main price point that we had, just to see if they have the money. So yes, definitely, they have the budget, not right now. And then anything else that you'd like to know before the meeting, this is the bare minimum that I would ask. And just to get the understanding of what to do, maybe you should add their website so you can check out the website as well before the call. But this is going to help you uh, once you get the meetings in, check these questions and if like all of them are wrong don't jump on the call maybe in the beginning if you want to get good at this even jump on a call with this like a little bit worse leads just to get your hang of it just to get it out of your system but later you definitely don't want to work on these leads because people underestimate the opportunity cost that is lost when you work with unqualified prospects if you work with a prospect that's not qualified, you're not just losing 30 minutes of your time, you're losing 30 minutes that could have gone into an actual good prospect. So it's like instead of going up the hill, you're actually going down, down hole. So don't do it. And then set up the reminders and notifications, at least two, 24 hours before a call and one hour before the call. This increases show rates. And send relevant assets inside the confirmation emails. You can send case studies, insights, blog posts, videos, anything you send that makes sense to the prospect that's relevant to your offer is going to do some of the heavy lifting. It's going to do some of the sales for you because you don't have to explain it on the call that much. If they already looked at a video to a blog post about your offer, they understand a little bit more. And then just set up the Zoom integration or whatever you're using for your video calls and you're ready to go.